Good morning and welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. Today we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord and we're very glad you're here. Let us greet each other as we come together. We also greet the people who are joining us via live stream. Let us with great joy sing our gathering hymn. Friends, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple enlightened by the same Spirit. 
They recognized the Lord and confessed him with exultation. So let us also, gathered together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we will find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all lights, who on this way showed to the just man Simeon the light of for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayer, you may be pleased to sanctify the, with your blessing these candles, which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that treading the path of virtues, we may reach the light which never falls. Through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Father Thomas, welcome back to our community. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare also to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Our word made flesh in the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, we need to be all of Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of the old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Enter. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as is written in the law of the Lord, every male child that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice of a pair of, two, of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictates of the law. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. 
He came into it, he, <clears throat> he came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, <coughs> Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself will be pierced. Uh, uh, you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about this, the child, to all who are waiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. After 40 days, we, we celebrated the Nativity of the Lord. We are here to celebrate his presentation. Taking from the Gospel of Jesus' childhood according to St. Luke. Today, we read the text of the presentation of the Lord in the Temple of Jerusalem. Joseph and Mary go with the child to fulfill the double prescription of the Mosaic law, presentation of the firstborn man to the Lord, and purification of the mother, 40 days after birth. Interrupt the pleasant visit to the temple, the intervention of the old Simeon, whose word constitute the central and basic point of the story and contain a Christological proclamation and a prophecy. Simeon, like Anna, the prophetess, represent the Mosaic hope of the people of Israel, and in their intervention are a Christological teaching, because under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, they call Jesus Savior, light of the nation and glory of Israel. The solemn, almost official proclamation of Jesus in the same temple in Jerusalem as the expected Messiah is expressed through several texts from the prophet Isaiah, referring the servant of Yahweh. St. Luke own, St. Luke's own, a Christian of Greek origin, and who write for non-Jewish Christian and hence of the lips of Simeon, the University of God's salvation, not only for Israel, but for all peoples. Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepare as inside of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory of for your people Israel. 
blissful this old man to whom over the years, instead of turning his eyes off, God provides him a vision of more acute and penetrating to see in that family which seems as normal as many others to a different couple with extraordinary child, the Messiah of God. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect a little in our lives and in our faith on the attitude of these elders, Simeon and Anna, who, being faithful to faith and hope in God, managed to realize the presence of the Savior as the son of Joseph and Mary, why others who were present in the temple do not realize? Why only them? Do each of us realize the presence of God in our lives? Do we know his constant manifestation and his closeness in our lives? Brothers and sisters, being honest, many of the times we don't realize that God walks beside us, that God manifests himself in our homes, that he speaks to us in those which, whom we communicate. Suddenly, we leave God lock in sacred things. We don't realize his presence in our lives. If we realized such a great blessing, our lives would change for good. We would give more importance to things that are important and live outside those that often lead us to waste our time and above all to lose our people and lose God. Let us carry in our mind and in our heart to God, the sacred things, because for the person, what is important is what he brings in his mind and in his heart. Things of young people, for example, what are they impressed, and that is what they in keep intend to achieve, that they dedicate their time and those are the motivation. If God is our motivation, if God is our hope, take it for granted that we will have it in our heart. Let us not let vain things, unimportant things, invade our hearts so as not to lose sight or be distracted when God passes before us or speak to us in our day, ordinary days because it may be the last change. The Lord chose to the just man, Simeon, Jesus, the light of the revelation to the Gentiles. May the hearts of the faithful rejoice in the brilliance of the light that never fades. 
our response, Lord, be the light of our life. May Jesus, the light of the world, shine on those who walk in darkness of sin, unbelief, and unrepentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. May today's feast of the encounter remind us that Jesus is at the center of our lives and that he draws us to God's house, to the church, and where we can meet him, recognize him, and embrace him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. May consecrated men and women renew their encounter with the Lord, who fills their hearts with peace and joy to the very end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. May the blessed candles that we carry in procession inspire us to walk in the path of righteousness so that we may be lights to each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. May the elderly experience of joy in holding the Lord in their arms through the love and care of their families and friends until they go in peace with their eternal abode. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. For the repose of the soul of Pablo Moreno and Victoria Pineda, and the intention of Danny Gaitan, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. For the intention of Ian Tennant, Emilio Leonides, Paul Ro Rogelio Jones Sir, Leonardo Prokis, Ivan Sanchez, and the health and strength of Romy Bañuelos, Mercedes St. Hilary, Tetsuo Okada, Lisa Casillas, Anthony Nguyen, Julio Martinez, Elizabeth Mary Paul, Evangeline Mayuga, Medi Alamares, Kior Tsan, Elizabeth Benz, Tess Dominguez, and the repose of the soul of Nora Sanchez, Valentiano, and John Reeder, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be the light of our life. Father, Simeon rejoices to hold the child Jesus in his arms. May we also hold Jesus in our hands and in all that we do until we come happily in the sunset of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world, as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nation. And so we too go forward rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as we out and we acclaim. found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother, bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior command and informed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our faith, but and graciously grant, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to be credentialed to my youth, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Praying. By this holy gift which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, as, and as you fulfill Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth, to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only son. In you, Mary, place her trust. With you, was given safe. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself our Father, and guide us in the death of us. Obtain for us grace and mercy and courage, and defend us of our evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against witness snare of the dead. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in to all Satan, in the hour of spirit, who proud about the Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everyone.